Scaled Composites often called simply Scaled is an American aerospace company founded by Burt Rutan and currently owned by Northrop Grumman that is located at the Mojave Air and Space Port, Mojave, California, United States. Founded to develop experimental aircraft, the company now focuses on designing and developing concept craft and prototype fabrication processes for aircraft and other vehicles. It is known for unconventional designs, for its use of non-metal, composite materials, and for winning the Ansari X Prize with its experimental spacecraft SpaceShipOne. Company history Scaled Composites was established in 1982 and purchased by the Beach Aircraft Corporation in 1985, as a result of the collaboration on the Starship project. In 1988, Beach's parent company, Raytheon, sold Scaled back to Rutan, who then sold it to Wyman Gordon. After Wyman Gordon was acquired by Precision Cast Parts Corp., Rutan and ten investors re acquired the company as Scaled Composites, LLC. Northrop Grumman, a major shareholder in the company with a 40% stake, said it would acquire the company outright on July 20, 2007. Both companies said Northrop Grumman's acquisition would not affect Scaled Composites' strategy or involve replacing Burt Rutan as senior manager. The acquisition by Northrop Grumman was completed on August 24, 2007. Rutan retired in April 2011. Topic early projects Before forming scaled composites, Burt Rutan had designed several aircraft for amateur builders, including the Very Easy, often considered one of general aviation's most innovative designs. He also designed the Beechcraft Starship, which was, however, a commercial failure. These aircraft were distinctive because of their canard configuration, winglets and pusher propellers. Before SpaceShipOne, Rutan was best known for his Voyager aircraft, which his brother, Dick Rutan, and Gina Yeager flew around the world without refueling in 1986. In 2005, the single-jet Global Flyer was flown by billionaire adventurer Steve Fawcett on the first solo non-stop, non-refueled flight around the world, and later in the longest flight in history, 41,467.53 km Although their role was not widely publicized, Rutan and John Ranch, who had provided aerodynamics support to a number of previous Rutan projects including Starship, helped design, and scaled manufactured, the double-slotted wing mast for the Stars and Stripes catamaran for Dennis Connor's entry in the 1988 America's Cup. SpaceShipOne The company announced in April 2003 that it was working on a privately funded spacecraft, in an attempt to win the Ansari X Prize for the first private, manned spaceflight. This experimental rocket-powered spacecraft was given the name SpaceShipOne. On December 17, 2003, they announced SpaceShipOne's first supersonic flight, the first flight of its kind by a privately funded aircraft. SpaceShipOne successfully made this flight, reaching 68,000 feet (21,000 meters) and 930 miles per hour (Mach 1.2). The craft was taken aloft by the White Knight carrier aircraft. On the same day, Paul Allen, one of the founders of Microsoft, confirmed publicly the rumors that he was the angel investor behind the SpaceShipOne venture. On April 1, 2004, the U.S. Department of Transportation issued the company what it called the world's first license for a sub-orbital manned rocket flight. The license was approved by the Federal Aviation Administration's Office of Commercial Space Transportation, which has backed licenses for more than 150 commercial launches of unmanned launch vehicles in its 20 years, but never a license for manned flight on a sub-orbital trajectory. The Mojave Airport, operating part-time as Mojave Spaceport, is the launch point for SpaceShipOne. SpaceShipOne performed the first privately funded human spaceflight on June 21, 2004. 
Flight 16P on September 29, 2004 and Flight 17P on October 4, 2004 won the X Prize for Scaled Composites and SpaceshipOwn. <laughs> Stratolaunch carrier aircraft Scaled Composites Model 351 nicknamed the Rock is being built for Stratolaunch systems to provide a platform from which air launch space missions can be staged. With a wingspan of 117 meters (385 feet), the design has the longest wingspan of any airplane to date. July 2015. In August 2015, Scaled Composites president Kevin Mickey stated the company has so far assembled roughly 200,000 pounds of composite structure. For the vehicle and if put on a football field, its wingtips would extend beyond the goalposts by 15 feet on each side. Each of the twin fuselages of the aircraft is 238 feet 73 meters long and will be supported by 12 main landing gear wheels and two nose gear wheels. It will require 12,000 feet of runway to lift off. Rutan Aircraft Factory Aircraft Bert Rutan created Rutan Aircraft Factory to market a commercial variation of his model, Verivigan prototype he began building in his garage in 1968 which he called the Model 32, also known as the Verivigan SP. This model which utilized a slightly longer fuselage, larger span and winglets in order to increase efficiency. The Rutan Aircraft Factory sold over 600 plan sets for the Verivigan to homebuilders, and eventually about 20 of the aircraft were built. Following the crash of one in New Brunswick, Canada in September 2006 due to wing tank fuel contamination, fewer than five are currently still flying. The prototype aircraft, N27VV, was donated to the EAA AirVenture Museum in 1988. Model 27 Verivigan 1972. Model 31 Very Easy 1975. Model 32 Verivigan SP 1973. Model 33 Very Easy 1976. Model 35 AD21 1979 Model 4074 Defiant 1978 Model 54 Quickie 1978 Model 61 Long EZ 1979 NASA AD1 1979 Model 68 Amsoil Racer 1981 Model 73 NGT, three-fifth scale model of Fairchild T46 trainer, 1981. Model 72 Grizzly, 1982. Model 76 Voyager, first aircraft to circumnavigate the Earth non-refueled, non-stop, 1986. Model 77 Solitaire, 1982. Model 81 Catbird 1988 5 seat single engine aircraft Model 202 Boomerang 1996 asymmetric 5 seat aircraft Topic <laughs> Scaled Composites Aircraft Model 115 Starship, 85% scale prototype, went into production as the Beechcraft Model 2000 Starship, 1982 B-2 Spirit, scale model pole mounted B-2 for radar cross-section tests Model 133 ATTT 1987 tandem wing stole transport Model 143 Triumph, built for Beechcraft 1988. IAI Searcher, longer winged version of Pioneer UAV, 1988. Model TRA 324 Scarab, developed for Teledyne Ryan, now Northrop Grumman, 1988. DCX constructed the structural aeroshell and control surfaces under contract to McDonnell Douglas. Model 151 Ares, 1990. 
Orbital Sciences Pegasus Rocket, Wings, Fins for Air Launch Rocket 1990. Model 158 Pond Racer, built for Air Racer Bob Pond 1990. Bell Eagle I, Tilt Rotor Demonstrator Aircraft for Bell Helicopter 1993. Model 205, first preliminary design for air launch of a booster rocket heavier than 500,000 pounds, 230,000 kilograms, 1991. Model 206, second preliminary design for heavy air launch, 1991. Model 247 Vantage, developed for Vision Air, 1996. Model 271 V Jet 2, developed for Williams International, 1997. Model 276 NASA X38, fuselage of drop test vehicle, 1998. Model 281 Proteus, 1998. Roten ATV, 1999. Model 287 NASA Arast, R, C model for proof of concept of 85,000 feet meters UAV Model 309 Atom M309, prototype for the Atom A500 2000. Model 326 Northrop Grumman X47A 2001. Model 302 Toyota TAA1 2002. Tier 1 2003 Model 316 Spaceship Own, the first privately built spacecraft Model 318 White Knight the launch vehicle for Spaceship Own. Model 311 Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer same mission as Voyager except a solo flight using a jet engine 2004 Tier 1B 2008 Model 339 Spaceship 2, the successor to Spaceship Own. Model 348 White Knight 2, the successor to White Knight. Stratolaunch carrier aircraft, Model 351, world's largest wingspan aircraft. Model 367 Bipod, 2011, a hybrid electric rotable aircraft. USAF Hunter Killer Project 2007 in cooperation with Northrop Grumman Model 395 proposed unmanned version of Model 281 equipped with armament Model 396 smaller version of the RQ4 Global Hawk equipped with armament Spaceship 3 the name of the proposed next iteration of scaled composites manned spacecraft series Launcher 1, the orbital launch vehicle now under development for Virgin Orbit, based on the technology from the Spaceship series of scaled composites. Other aircraft projects U.S. flight-based testing and evaluation of the Gipsyro GA-8 airvan manufactured by Gipsyro of Victoria, Australia, including flight evaluation of the external belly cargo pod. Non-aircraft work Stars and Stripes, the catamaran that formed Dennis Connors' American entry for the America's Cup Yacht Race 1988 Power Augmented Ram Landing Craft for the U.S. Navy. General Motors Ultralight 1992 Topic Accidents and Incidents On July 26, 2007, an explosion occurred during testing of Spaceship 2 systems, killing 3 employees and injuring 3 more. On October 31, 2014, the Spaceship 2 VSS Enterprise broke apart during an in-flight powered test. The incident killed one pilot and severely injured the other, resulting in the total loss of the vehicle. Both pilots were scaled employees. On July 28, 2015, the NTSB released the final report on its investigation of the incident, concluding that for an unknown reason the pilot had released the feather of Spaceship 2 prematurely, leading directly to the craft's disintegration. See also 
New Space.